Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and here is that lovely, 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 lovely dream catcher that I was promising you. <laughs> it's finally come. This is the larger size one and the size we used here was and still is the 24.5 centimeter dark, oh what's that called? Dark wood colour, even though it was light. <laughs> so there you go, isn't it? Gorgeous. I love, love, love. And we use Bendigo Woolen Mills Cotton 8 ply with a 4mm hook. For sure, for sure, a 4mm hook. Yes, we did. Now, you may need a stitch marker, but yours truly kept forgetting to put one in, so you probably won't need it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm already starting. You will definitely need this darning weaving sewing needle. There will be ends to sew and you will need some scissors i just found these ones because i've lost my other ones but i'll find them tomorrow morning but there we go this is the start of our um large dream catcher i look forward to hearing what you think of it so uh join me on saturday mornings live to discuss what you think of it and actually to discuss what colors we are going to use for our decorations i mean look at that Oh, and it's a bit of a tail end right here. We're going to weave that in um, later. I didn't weave it in the beginning, actually, if you can probably even leave that. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't decided what we're going to do. We may actually need it to help us with one decoration. I'm not going to tell you what that will be. You will find that out in the future. Oh, I'm keeping it secret. Anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore. It's a very, very long tutorial. Thank you for watching and good luck with your dream catcher. Alrighty guys, for the purpose of this tutorial today, you'll need to know how to do chains, single crochet, double crochet, double crochet two together, trebles, a slip stitch, and a quick slip knot at the beginning. I know that it sounds like a lot, but trust me, um, a lot of it's just repetitive. And if you're not aware of how to do any of these stitches, I will leave links to these stitches in the description box down below. However, because it's repetitive, I'm pretty sure you can pick it up relatively quickly all right so we're going to start off with a quick slip knot tail end around your finger once and twice holding it up there finger holding that down there grab your back loop passing it halfway over hold it there grab the other loop pass it all the way over pop your hook in and give it a tug easy easy we are going to start off with chain seven yarn over your hook pull a loop through one and two and three and four five six and seven super easy yeah now that space right there the very first one we did we're going to slip stitch so you're popping your hook in there you're not actually putting any yarn over anything you're just popping your hook straight in that little first stitch let me get it close up so you can see all right right there so that very first stitch right there pop your hook in grab a loop pull it through all right and pull the loop through to the loop on your hook now we're going to chain up three yarn over your hook once and yarn over your hook twice and three times all right now we just do a normal double crochet and that's yarn over your hook you're going to pop it in the space pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook making sure you're holding everything over here okay three loops on your hook yarn over your hook pull through the first two loops yarn over your hook pull through the last two loops that is a normal double crochet okay now we're going to chain three one two and three okay now the next four um steps or I should say four stitches we're going to do we're going to be doing double crochet two together and so yarn over your hook pop it in your space pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over your hook pull through the first two loops yarn over your hook normally we would pull through those two loops but we're not going to we're going to pop it back in the space pull up another loop and you should have four loops on your hook yarn over your hook pull through the first two loops on your hook and you should have three loops left Yarn over your hook, pull through all three loops. Okay, now we are chaining three. One, two, and three. And the best part is, guys, you're going to do that stitch 
three more times. So it's yarn over your hook, pop it in the space, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over your hook, pull through the first two, yarn over your hook, back into the space, pull up a loop, four loops, yarn over your hook, the first two loops, three loops, yarn over your hook, the last three loops. Chain one, two, and three in between every little cluster stitch that you do. Now we're going to do the stitch again. Yarn over your hook, pop it in the space, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over, two, yarn over, back into the space, pull up a loop, four, yarn over, two, three, yarn over, three. Chain one, two, and three. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. We need one, one more. Okay. Yarn over in the space. Pull up a loop. Three loops. Yarn over through the first two loops. Yarn over. Pop it in the space. Pull up a loop. Four loops. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through the last three. Chain one, two, and three. So you should have one, well actually that's kind of your first set there, even though it looks a bit weird, but it is. So it's one, two, three, four, and five, and you should have chain three in between each section. Now what we're going to do is, remember our chains that we did in the beginning? All right, I should have probably got a stitch marker for you. Okay, I'm not gonna to worry too much about stitch markers because you, you'll know what you're doing in a minute. That post right there, that stitch belongs to that post. Now, just before it, there's that stitch. So, grab that second loop, which is right there. That's a little bit tight. If you crochet tight like I do, that's going to be tight. Loosen up your chains when you're doing your chains in the first round. I'll show you how to do that in your second round. Yarn over your hook, pull it through the stitch. Tight stitch. <laughs> and again through the stitch on your hook. Okay, so you have that kind of a look. All right, so now guess what? You're changing color. So chain one, you're just pulling up a loop, really. Grab your scissors and cut. All right, now we are changing to our yellow. All right, so we've got our yellow. You can start in any space that you like. Okay, any space you like, doesn't matter. I'm going to pop mine in the opposite space as the tail we already have okay so just grab a your yellow and pop it over like that just like that and pull the loop through on the space well, let me do it through closer so you can see and just pull the loop through on your space now grabbing the tail end of your yellow just passing it over so you can actually lock that into place you're chaining one, tighten it up a bit, two, and loose this one here a little bit loose, three. All right, not too loose because you don't want it to, you know, look space lock, there's a gap there. You're going to do a double crochet in the same space, just one. Okay, whoops. All right, now we're just going to do chain one. You can still crochet over that tail end. And two more double crochets, one, And two. There you go. Super easy. All right, now you can just pass that little tail into the back. Chain one. Skip your cluster set there, jumping into your next space with two double crochets. That's one. And two. Chain one. Two double crochets. In the same space chain one jump into your next space with you guessed it two double crochets chain one and two double crochets okay don't forget to chain one you always chain one when you come out of a space in this row okay so yarn over your hook Alright, if you're anything like me, you're up to the tail end, yes? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that tail end and hold it in our fingers at the back. You don't have to. This is just a tip that I like to use. And we are going to start crocheting over it with the first double crochet. So you're going to be putting your two, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets in that space anyways. So why not crochet over that tail end, okay? So yarn over your hook, pop your first double crochet in. Once you start doing it and you've just done your first loop like that, you can let go of your tail end at the back. If you want to do it this way, otherwise we will weave it in after anyway. So there's your second double crochet, chain one, and your second, I mean, sorry, and your next double crochet, and your next double crochet, chain one. Now this is a section where we've got that little chain and stitch thing happening, but it's the same thing. We jump into our next space, um, we've chained one, yes. We jump into our next space with our two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So this round is that. It's just that. It's repetitive all the way around. Remembering to chain one in between each cluster set that we do. Okay. All right. That's where we are. Now we are going to chain one. All right. Now we are going to slip stitch at the top of that chain uh, like we did in our previous row. Remember that chain I told you to keep nice and loose? Yep. That's what we're going to do. Drop our tail at the back. All you need is your hook for this part grab your stitch that's your first loop and your second loop of the stitch all right now just grab your thread pull a loop through the stitch it's a lot easier now when we do it a bit loose isn't it and pull it through to the stitch on your hook chain one guess what we're changing colors yet again give it a cut and with your next row, you'll need to use your medium color green. Okay, because we've got a light green and this medium color, and we're using the medium color. Now, yours truly would rather, um, when I'm attaching, I would like to attach the green in one of these spaces and not in one of your two together spaces. Let me show you what I mean. Those are the two together, and then we had a space in between. We're going to pop our hook in any one of those very deeper spaces, right? Not the pointy space, but the deep space. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Grab your loop, pull your loop through. Grab your little tail end, pop it forward. And you are chaining one, two, and three. Keeping that top stitch relatively loose. Now you're doing two double crochets in the same space. One. and two all right pass your tail at the back chain one now in every space you jump into before you jump into any space you are always chaining one in this space what you're doing is two double crochets one and two chain two one and two and two double crochets all in the same space chain one now this is a space before your little double set so pop in three double crochets one two and three all right, now we chain one. We're always chaining one to get out of our cluster sets. All right, and now we are popping in this little cluster set here. We are putting two double crochets. One, two, chain one and two, and two double crochets, all in the same set. Okay, the same space, I should say. All right, chain one. And get ready for your next stitch now I say that because we've got a tail here now I'm going to pass that tail over in my hand again you don't need to do this it's just a little um, a little tip that I'd use yarn over the hook pop it in your space to do your normal double crochet over that tail and pull a loop through and drop your tail and then continue going two and three chain one 
And now we're jumping into that space with two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, okay? So you can kind of see a pattern here in this row. Okay, it's very basic. One and two and two double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets in that space. All right, see the pattern? Chain one in the space there, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. One and two and two double crochets. Chain one and your normal three double crochets in your next space. When I say normal, the actual three double crochets is one of the basic sets in crochet. Okay, chain one. And you are doing your last double set in there, which is two double crochets. Chain one and two and two double crochets. Like so. One and two. All right. And now you chain one again to get out of that space. We're slip stitching at the top of that green one, which we left nice and loose, didn't we? Well, I know I did. <laughs> not too loose because you don't want it looking like there's a, a gap there but loose enough for us to pop our hook in to do our slip stitch check it out how perfect is that stitch now <laughs> I say that because my regulars would know that I really crochet tightly so we are chaining one or pulling up a loop I should say and yep we are cutting it again you're thinking oh my gosh a gazillion tails yes 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 a gazillion tails and we are changing to our light green alrighty so with our light green you're going to attach it in any space that you like however find yourself a corner space any one of these little corners that you see just after it pop your hook in there it's all right so in one of these spaces here but just after it pop it in there I think that's the best way to do it so we know where we are grab your loop and just pull it through Flip your little tail in front and you don't have to that's just me locking it into place chaining one two and yes three remember not to keep that stitch too tight and we're doing two double crochets in the same space one and two and then we're chaining one pulling that loop at the back now in your next space just before a corner and never in a corner just before the corner you are doing three double crochets so that's easy one two and three now in your double space we are doing the that stitch there right here I'm sorry that stitch there right here and that stitch is you're double crocheting two together but before you do we need to chain one <laughs> I forgot to chain one we are going to do your double crochet two together in that space chain two double crochet two together okay so yarn over your hook pop it in the space pull up a loop like normal three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pop it back in the space yarn over pull up a loop one two three four Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, there's your three left, pull through the last three. Then you chain one and two and you do that stitch again. So in, loop up, through, yarn over, back in, loop up, through two, yarn over, through the last three. To get into your next space, you are chaining one. There is one of those tail ends again. We're going to pop that in my hand at the back. Again, you don't need to do this. So yarn over, pop it in the space, pull a loop through, and you are doing your three double crochets in that space. One, two, and three. Chain one. So now you have another space before 
your double set. So you're going to put a normal three double crochets in that space as well. One, two, three, chain one. Now, when we jump into that, we are doing our double cluster set with your double crochet two together. Chain one and two, double crochet two together. And chain one to get out of the space. Three double crochets in a space. One, two, and three. Chain one. In your next space, it's not a double set. So you're going to put three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. Chain one. So we're just going to keep going. In there you need to put your double cluster set of your two together. One, two. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. I'm sure you're getting the picture now. Chain one. I'm really speeding this up now, aren't I, guys? <laughs> I'm trying to because um, it's such a long tutorial. So I'm trying to speed this up for you. If you need to slow down, just pause the video. But yours truly is going to speed it up a little. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. <laughs> and not everyone's saying, oh, you do such long videos. So I'm really going to speed it up for you right now. We're nearly towards the end, which is an absolute bonus. Three double crochets in there. Chain one. Three in your next. I know you get it. The next row I'll show you one or two and you'll have to go off on your own and do it because otherwise we'll be here forever. <laughs> All right, chain one. I think we are actually right at the end, which is good. All right, so now we are going to jump into that last double set there with our double set. Two together. Chain one and two and two together. Chain one, and yep, we are slip stitching right at the top of that green right there. Oh, that's nice and perfect, that stitch now. <laughs> that we've been watching what we're doing. Pull the loop through, pull up a loop, and yes, guys, you're going to cut again. You're thinking, not again. <laughs> yes, again. <laughs> All righty, there we go. So that's your fifth row. Is it one, two, three? I'm lying. One, two, three, four. That's your fourth row. You can't count, Mary. But everybody knew that, didn't you guys? <laughs> All right. Let's get on with our next colour, which is the orange. All right. Now, with this particular piece, when we are doing this row, you can start anywhere you like. But once again, I like to start. See, there's your little corner. I like to start just after a corner. All right. Just in the space after a corner. Okay, grab your orange, just pulling your loop through, no knotting, pass your tail end forward or if you like, or whatever you usually do. Okay, oh, it's too far away, sorry guys. All right, so chaining one, giving it a nice tight tug there. In this space, you are putting a single crochet and a single crochet is just pop your hook in the space, pull up a loop, Two loops on your hook yarn over your hook and pull through two loops on your hook easy get rid of that tail now we are going to whenever you see three double crochets we're going to chain one two and three and then we're going to jump into that space with a single crochet again hook in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops 
there's three double crochets there so we're going to chain one two and three pop it in the space with a single crochet easy now when you come to this section here you're only chaining two okay chaining two to get over that stitch one two single crochet in the space okay chaining two to go into your next stitch so chain one and two now I'm going to single crochet over that tail end pop your single crochet in and doing your stitch okay now we are going over three double crochets so we are chaining one two and three single crochet in your next space and there's three again chain one two and three single crochet in your next space see how there's two there chaining one two okay so you pop in your hook in pulling up your loop with a normal single crochet chaining two to get out of this corner space one two single crochet now you've come up to three so you're doing one two three pop your single crochet in you've got three there again one two three single crochet in i think you understand what we're doing here one two to get into the corner or i should say a peak not really corner one two to get out of that peak and into the space three sing three double crochets here so you're doing one two three chains jump into the space with a single crochet there's three you're chaining one two three chain one two one two to get into the space and there's your three one two three single crochet another three one two three single crochet the two one and two single crochet one and two now we already have a single crochet in that first space that we started with so we are just going to slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet okay probably would have been uh, benefited us to have a stitch marker but it doesn't matter <laughs> it's the only stitch there so there we go pulling your loop through like so pull a loop up guess what you're gonna do it again <laughs> you're changing colors <laughs> so having a look at the color combination that you are seeing right there orange yellow medium green light green orange yellow medium green light green orange yellow and so on and so on and so on you won't need to do that much because we're getting near towards the circle but no way like you're thinking oh, what are you talking about look how small it is i know right <laughs> oh that was very loud sorry guys <laughs> but we are pretty close so in this round here you need um okay you need to pop in remember how we did our chain three in that section and then chain two to get in here and then chain two to get out and then chain three there that and all that well, that's exactly what we're going to do again we're going to pop into those stitches so that we don't get confused it's best to start see where that see where that cluster set is there right we've put our single crochet in there we've chained two to get into this space here so our very first space you come to after that is your chain three pop your hook in there okay and it has to be like that don't pop it in the next one because it's going to put you out okay so pop it in there well, i'll explain it to you in a minute anyway so you you don't get confused you grab your thread and just pull a loop through okay getting your tail end wrapping it forward okay all right so this round is going to consist of trebles and everyone's going oh no not trebles they're not that hard come on guys <laughs> chain one two three and four 
all right we are doing two trebles and a treble is yarn over your hook twice so you've got two loops on your hook there pop it in the space like you're doing a normal double pull up your loop because we've put our yarn over the hook twice it's given us an extra loop in there so it's four loops yarn over your hook pull through the first two loops yarn over your hook pull through the next two loops yarn over your hook pull through the last two loops that is the hardest part of doing that stitch that's it yarn over your hook twice pop it in the space we're doing exactly the same stitch pull up a loop four loops yarn over two yarn over next two yarn over last two so that row this row here is going to have some nice elongated stitches all right so now you need to chain one when you get to those chain threes where um, it's above that three double crochet section there you need to put in three of these trebles so pop in three trebles one two and three so now you're chaining one now here is where you've got your two space see that little two there we're not going to put in three we're going to put in two so yarn over your hook twice popping in two trebles one chain one you've still got another section of two chains just your two and that's when you put in two trebles chain one and now you're coming to your three and what are you going to do you're going to put in the three trebles one two three chain one all right let's hold it there and i'll explain what you're going to do and you're going to actually head off on your own to do this part and the reason is because it's going to take, take me too long to do and then you'll be having to watch a 10-hour video <laughs> <laughs> all right whenever you come to a space with your three chains that'll be above your three double crochets you're putting three trebles then you're chaining one to get out of that space when you come to these two you're putting two trebles chaining one jump into your next space two trebles chaining one jump into that three space with three trebles three trebles two two three three two two three three two two and wait for me there super easy yeah it's just a stitch that's a bit fussy but that actual row is really quite basic all trebles okay so go ahead and do that row and i'll meet you back in a moment all right guys i have my last cluster set oh, it's too far away sorry guys i have my last cluster set to go in there and it's actually a two cluster set so yarn over your hook twice pop it in there with one yarn over twice in there with the second one chain one so here we are at the end of the row and if i can get a bit of a close-up for you now we need to pop our hook in that very top stitch again not the stitch to the treble but the stitch to a little tight chain right next to it oh it's not too bad <laughs> oh gosh okay pull the loop through like so Pull it through, chain one, pull up your loop, and sorry guys, you are changing threads again. You're thinking, no. <laughs> Alrighty, for this row, a basic, basic, this is the actual easiest row ever. And you don't even have to worry about where you start from. Just pop your hook in any space you like. Grab your green, your medium green. That is the colour we are using. Pull a loop through okay grab your thread pass it over chaining one single crochet in the same space now you've done this in the previous round there now in the previous round we did chain three chain three and then when we got to twos we did chain two in this round we're not doing that we are just going chain one 
two, three, single crochet. Chain one, two, three, single crochet. Chain one, two, three, single crochet. We are just doing that in every two, three, in every space we come to. All right. And there you go. Let me just pull up a loop to show you all. Whoa, I just got a caught there. All right, so that's all you're doing. You're chaining three, chaining three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Do that all the way until you get to your very last space right there, and I will meet you up. All right, so where we got to at the end of this row, we had um, the last three, which I did chain three there, single crochet in that space. We've still got another three, so we chain one, two and three and we slip stitch in that first single crochet right there okay so you're slip stitching over like so pull up a loop and there you go orange yellow medium green light green orange yellow medium green light green you can start in any section you like because it's a um it's an increase row so it can be done anywhere so just pop your hook any space you see grab your little thread pull it through okay pass your tail end over chain one two and three and you're going to put a double crochet in the same space all right easy oh we're so far away <laughs> sorry guys chaining one now we're going to put two double crochets together remember that stitch all right yarn over your hook pop it in the space pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over your hook pull through the first two two loops yarn over your hook pop it back in the space pull up a loop Yarn over your hook, there's four loops by the way, pull through the first two loops, three loops, yarn over your hook, pull through all three loops on your hook, pass that thread at the back, and you are going to chain one to get out of that space, and your next stitch is double crochet two together again in the next space, one, and two together, chain one, and double crochet two together, chain one and that's it that is all you're doing exactly that in every space all the way across that is why well, i say it's super easy it's not it's just repetitive chain one two together chain one easy easy you're double crocheting two together chain one double crochet two together chain one double crochet two together chain one double crochet two together chain one you're doing that all the way around your piece when you get to the last cluster set perform it and wait for me there all righty here we are at the end of the row guys i'm just going to chain one and like we've been doing all along like so and guess what guys you're gonna pull a loop <laughs> you're thinking what not another end <laughs> yep another end <laughs> all right now we are going to grab what color is next the light green and the orange now this is all kind of puffy it's only because it's got these <laughs> ends under there we will be doing those ends trust me we'll be doing them okay again we can we can start anywhere we want however i would like to start pretty much let's just <laughs> get fun where there's less ends oh i'm so naughty all right where there's less ends now any double cluster set where there's less ends yeah pop yourself one set before the cluster set all right 
So, grab your, oh, sorry. <laughs> grab your, um, did that come out? It didn't come out. Oh, let's try it again. Okay. Grab your thread, pull it through, grab your little tail end, pass it over, and away we go. So chaining one, yeah? Now, we are doing a single crochet in the same space, okay? Chain one. All right. In your double cluster set, you need to put a single crochet, chain one, two, three, and a single crochet. All right? Now, when we come out of any space, we are chaining one. Now, before the cluster set, there's a space. And in that space, all you're doing is a single crochet. Yes? Chain one to get out of the space. In your double cluster set, it's single crochet, chain one, two, and three, and then single crochet. Chain one to get out of the set. Single crochet in the space before the cluster set. Chain one to get out of there. And in the cluster set, you are putting single crochet. Chain one, two, three and single crochet chain one to get out all right so what i want you to do because i think you get it <laughs> i hope you get it <laughs> or i shouldn't have put that so far away in your next space you're going to put a single crochet then you're going to jump into your cluster set with a single crochet chain three single crochet then chain one jump into the next space with a single crochet Okay, so you're just repeating those two steps all the way through until you get to your very last cluster set and I shall knit you up. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. We're going to pop into that space with a single crochet. Chain one, two and three. A single crochet. This is our last space by the way guys. Chain one and now we slip stitch to that very first stitch that we made right there okay normal slip stitch pull up a loop yep we're gonna do it we're gonna cut again sorry guys <laughs> please no more threads they're saying no more ends we don't want any more ends <laughs> so it's kind of spread out a little bit more now they're saying is it ready to go on that hoop yet no, you have one more row. Your next row will be the yellow. That will be the colour that we are going to use to attach to our ring or hoop or loop or whatever you want to call it. Um, and if by any chance yours is larger than mine and you need more work done, I will show you how to grow your work. All right. But in the meantime, we're going to do oh, one more row. Okay, okay, you can start anywhere you like yet again. Let's find an, oh look, so many ends on this side. What's happening over here? <laughs> let's go over this side. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, there's your double cluster loop. Remember what we usually do? We start in a space just after our cluster sets. Okay, our main cluster sets. All right, so if you can see, there's your point. And we're starting in the space before it. All right. Now pass your thread over like so. Okay. Chaining one. Single crochet in the same space. Chain one. Pass that thread over. All right. You are single crocheting in the space before your um, space here. Chain one. Go into your little cluster space there with a single crochet. Chain one, two, and three, and a single crochet. Chain one. Pop into the space after it. Chain one, the next space as well. Chain one, 
into your little cluster set with a single crochet, chain one, two, three, single crochet, pop that little, oh, didn't I pull that through properly? No, I didn't, there you go, <laughs> pop that little tail there, I might just crochet over that tail in a second, now you're chaining one, and just crocheting over that tail with a single crochet in the space, chain one, single crochet in your next space, chain one, and then you're doing your cluster set. Single crochet, one, two, three, and single crochet, chain one, one in your first, chain one, one in your next, chain one, and your space, single crochet, chain one, two, and three, and your single crochet chain one pull up that loop i would have pulled it up more except i got stuck on the table there <laughs> sorry guys all right here we go so this is all you are doing in this round i love 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 and at the end we'll give everything a really good pinch all right, so you just keep going in the round, get yourself here, and I'll meet you up. Here we are at the end of our row. Oh, very exciting, this one. Okay, we are going to pop a, because this is where I am. I've done my single crochet in that stitch before our peak. All right, I've chained one. I'm going to pop a single crochet in the peak. Chain one, two, and three. Single crochet in the space, chain one, slip stitching to the top of your stitch right there, pull the loop through, just pull up your loop for a minute, okay, and I'll tell you why, before we do, we go any further, we need to weave in some of these ends, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm only going to show you one, okay, just so you understand that these ends need to be weaved in before they're on the ring. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble weaving them in. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's grab, I don't know. We'll grab, grab the light grey. Thread your needle. Ta-da. If it can go in there, then we can thread it. Okay, we're in. All right. So, a nice close-up for you. Oh, is that too close? Well, you can see the paws on my hand. All right, here we go. So all we're doing is, there's your green. We've crocheted over that little bit. Well, I have anyway. You just pick up a thread from anywhere. See that little thread there? And then you go through the stitch. Being careful not to unravel what you crocheted over. That's why I'm saying pick up a little tiny stitch before you do this bit. So that way, there you go. It hasn't come undone but you're going to turn it back around again because this is a really tiny stitch here thought I'd do the smaller one for you first so you can have a look see and then just do the same thing find a bit of thread like that one there's a bit of thread there and then go straight back through there again now this is actually the third time because we've crocheted over it once we've sewn it through once and we've sewn it back again I'm going to leave that there if you want to do a bit more, by all means, you can do a bit more. Um, but there you go. That's what I'm going to do there. All right. Sorry, I just want to quickly show you this middle one. This little middle tail right here. It's a little bit bubbly and a little bit weird. And I haven't given myself a long enough tail, which makes me a little bit angry. Um, just we are in there, right there. Okay. So it's coming this way. It's literally coming this way. So we're going to go back in this way as we started to just being careful not to see your end there and you can't okay just grab it that way and it closes up a little bit just have a look see don't pull too tight where it's like that because that really looks bad okay but you want it to close up a little bit but you still need a little hole because this one here does it is supposed to have that gap in there okay so just keep going straight into your stitches there and into your very next stitch have a quick look see make sure you can't see the needle I mean, you can see it there but that's neither here nor there just here okay and there you go now 
because my tail's not long enough. If you have a longer tail, you can go a bit further around. And when you're ready, you go back the other way in a different section. So you notice how I'm picking up a, a thread in a different section there and then going back the other way. All right, because when you go one way and then you go another, there's no way that's going to come undone. As we've actually done it three times, we crocheted it over it once and we've sewn it through twice. I just want to check that because I felt it a bit thick there. That's only because that's the beginning. Okay, I think that'll do. So what I want you to do now, before you do anything else, you need to weave in all these ends because this is the part you're going to love. Now, before everyone does everything else, we're just going to do this one thing. All right, there's my um, ring, okay? Now, to me, that is actually too big even. I would have made it even a little bit smaller, but I thought I might make it that little bit bigger because once we put the points, um, I'll explain it to you later, these middle bits don't get crocheted into, okay? And I'll explain that to you later. This is the attaching ring stage. So that's why we need all these ends sewn in. Now, for those of you who have a bigger ring, like let's say it's a lot bigger than this and your piece is like that far away from it or something, you need to do another row. Don't do too many rows. It's better tight than loose. All right. And your next row, just quickly, will consist of you do your single crochet, your chain three and your single crochet, and then your chain one jump into the next space with a single crochet, chain one, jump into your next with a single crochet, chain one, your next, chain one, and then single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So really all you're doing is repeating this round, but you've got a few extra single crochets in between. Make sure you're chaining one to get out of every um, stitch that you're in, except in here you've got a chain three, all right? Now, for the rest of us, we are going to weave in all these ends and meet me back here in a second so that we can attach this piece to our ring. Yay! I was about to clap, but I'm going to do that clap. <laughs> all right, so I will meet you back in a few seconds. Good luck. Ta-da! That took a million years, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so there's our little ring. Let's pop that there. This is where we are up to, okay? For those of you who've gone off on your own and done your extra rows and you're back with us, welcome back. Um, for those of you who have waiting to do this, let's do right now. Yay! Very exciting. Where did we get to before? Oh, we just slip stitched in the stitch. Okay, from memory. Bring that up. There you go. We just slip stitched into that very first stitch that we started in, yeah? Now what you've got to do, you've got to get out of the stitch because you want to go into the space. So you slip stitch into your very next space right there. Okay? All right. Just quickly, before we go on, to let you know, we're slip stitching straight over and into that peak because we are not going to crochet into these on our ring. And I'll explain that to you when we're ready to crochet, okay? So you slip stitch into the next stitch, like so, and then you slip stitch into the next space. A little bit fiddly this part, but it's not difficult. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And straight into that big chain space there. Chain one. All right. What we usually do, we pop our hook in there to perform our single crochet. We're going to do that. But we're going to do our single crochet around the whole ring. So you pop your hook in the space like normal. Grab your ring, popping it over your hook. See where my thread is there? Bring it back. Pull your thread through like as if you were doing a normal single crochet straight through the stitch like that you should have two loops on your hook <laughs> I'm trying to keep it I'm trying to keep it in frame now because it's such a big ring yarn over your hook and pull it through the two loops okay now you're going to drop your work and you're going to put a single crochet around the ring only for five single crochets so you get your hook around your ring pull a loop through Two loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through your two loops, your single crochet one. You're going to do it again. A little bit fiddly. Two. <laughs> Very fiddly. <laughs> Three. 
three, four, five. Now, you've done your five. Now you're going to jump straight into that single crochet with all your three stitches. Pop your hook in the chain space, getting ready to perform your single crochet. So you're pulling your loop through there, through the stitch. You've got your two loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, pull it through the both loops there. Okay, now we're going to do our five single crochets again. I think I prefer just going around the hoop without the material. One. Two, whoa, <laughs> three, <laughs> very fiddly, <laughs> four, all right, then you, I'm sorry, try five, hello, one more, <laughs> wake up Mary, five, then you grab your little piece, pop your hook in there, in your chain space, pull the loop through, pull up a loop, Yarn over your hook, doing a normal single crochet around the ring, like so. And again, one, <laughs> two, <laughs> very, very fiddly, three, four, sorry about the noise guys, just banging on the table, four, and five okay once again single crochet in that space there move up a loop and you're just doing your normal okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pull that up so i can show you what you're doing and there you go that is exactly all you need to do single crochet in your chain space now i'll get nice close up for you single crochet in your chain space single crochet five around your ring one single crochet in a chain space, single crochet five around your ring, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. And I'm going to let you head off on your own and do that all the way through. Now, it's going to be tight. It's going to pull and tug and all sorts of weird things. That's normal. Get to here. If it's pulling to the extent where it's really bad, you don't want that. You may need to do another round. But that kind of a pull like that is normal, all right? So get yourself to this very last one. I don't do it and just wait there for me all right and we'll do that one together okay i'll meet you up in a moment all righty guys this is where you're probably at now thinking that's really really tight and yes it is so what you're going to do so you've got your one there and your one there and they're really pulling you do need to really get in there and tug just bring everything right across for now and that'll loosen it up a bit so that you can continue okay now i have two more let's see how loose it is now okay and that'll help you continue i thought i better get on and show you this because i'm pretty sure this is where you're up to because this is where i kind of got stuck all right and we're going to oh blow that up for you we're going to continue this like so yeah and then you do your one. Oh, i don't know it's so fiddly two three four and five so this is going to be very very tight now right here okay so just grab that loop do your single crochet around it like so and then doing five in there home stretch guys just for this round <laughs> one i'm sorry there's one more round <laughs> two i'm sorry oh three have i done three <laughs> one two three yes i have four five i've got to stop talking hey all right now what you need to do you actually do need to slip stitch all right so the best thing for you to do let's see if i can get a nice nice close up oh you can see right there it's very very tricky and it might pay for you to use your hook side to get into there all right so you're getting into that top stitch 
very first stitch that you started with with a slip stitch like so nice tight stitch there chain one yeah now you're going to single crochet in your space your chain space and back around your ring one then guess what you are going to do a whole row again so one two three oops three four and five and then back into the stitch all right so whoa <laughs> so that's what I would like for you to do continue that row all the way around exactly the same get here and I will meet you up all right so yours truly has gotten to let me show you just before that's where we we started I probably should have got you to put a stitch marker right there but you can actually see where you start it's got that bulky see that bulky look right so I need to put a single crochet in that stitch before that area <laughs> it's a little fiddly guys it really is they're awkward but they come up gorgeous trust me now we're going to do our normal five single crochet around this section here and two and three and four last one and five all right so this is the area where we started with normally we would slip stitch this way not this one because it's the end we're going to pull the loop up we're going to find a stitch at the back somewhere like that somewhere there right there all right see those two loops there popping your hook in the back to the front grabbing the loop that you just took off your hook pull it pop it on your hook like so and pulling that loop through to the back like that chain one pull up a nice long tail doesn't have to be long I just like it long so I've got plenty to play with cut your work pull your tail and guess what guys your dream catcher is complete oh, very nice and if you want to just stretch everything around like that you can and there you go guys oh my gosh that took us like a hundred years <laughs> and there it is all right guys so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things and guess what guys we will be here next week to continue our dream catcher we'll be adding all our little um odds and ends and i'm not going to tell you what they are they're going to be a lovely little surprise oh but i'm thinking we won't use any yellow at all not at all we may be maybe we'll get stuck into some of that green there uh, and we might use a couple of the light green we could use some of the orange I haven't really thought about it guys but um, join me on Saturday morning for our live so we can discuss how far we are going with this and what colors we would like to use for the decorations all right so thank you so much for watching <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys do and um, all I can say right now guys is in admire your dream catcher <laughs> and ciao for now